After the success of Metal Gear Solid, everyone who was interested in making money decided to come up with their own Metal Gear Solid, each offering their own different things. Coming out of this mess of stealth games was Siphon Filler, a cool action stealth game that was pretty fun and entertaining. Well, for the sequel, they decided to amp up everything and go all out. And I, for one, am happy because doing this made for one mighty fun game. Are you there? We are. Avoiding anything original for the title, Siphon Filter 2, as it was called, made its appearance in 2000. The story takes place right after the first Siphon Filter, which has Gabe Logan returning back after a mission. As he is heading back, he is ambushed by the agency he works for. His partner, Leon Zing, is captured and infected with the siphon filter virus, and it's up to Gabe to save her. The story is somewhat interesting. Nothing really to write home about, but it does give you a good excuse on why you're traveling all over the world killing bad guys. The developers took the cool things from the original and stepped everything up. The game begins with you parachuting from an airplane to start the level off. And if you're good enough, you can get a rifle that makes the level so much easier. And how can anyone forget about the train level, which has you running on top of a runaway train, shooting your way through enemies till you get to the engine room. Kinda looks familiar. A eh, Uncharted 2? Does this look familiar? The game is full of these moments. Level after level, has you doing something different, be it sniping underneath a bridge that's gonna blow up or running through the Russian streets. Another thing they did is add levels that have you controlling Lee on Zing as she tries to work out what happened to her and escape. Her levels are a fun change of pace, and this is what the game really does well, the pacing. Some levels will have you running and gunning, blasting your way through enemy after enemy. Then after that, you'll be crouching behind enemies, taking them out with a stun gun. It mixes up the gameplay well, so you don't feel like you're just replaying the same levels over and over, but with different backgrounds. And, like a redneck Christmas, man oh man are there a bunch of guns. Each one feels as different as they can for a PS1 game. The M16 is loud and powerful, while the pump action shotgun does its damage at close range, launching enemies into the air. And anyone who plays this game remembers the air taser that sticks into your enemies and fills them with electricity until they catch on fire. Nothing was cooler than getting a headshot with this. And when this game came out, I remember the graphics being unbelievable. But time does do its damage and makes me feel stupid for thinking this game looked great. Also added is a multiplayer that was surprisingly fun. I mean, it's nothing compared to what we have today, but back then, I remember battles with my brother getting very heated. The best way to describe this game is sheer fun. The story won't have you remember it for years to come like Metal Gear Solid, but if you're looking for a cool game with some awesome moments and overall fun value, you could do a lot worse than this. Trust me, it's definitely worth your time.